Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm gonna do raw love. I'm gonna do my awkward, my awkward babies. My awkward babies. See what you guys are up to. Hey, Mia. Now, would it be found? Found. Aquarius, Aqua Venus. Okay, we gotta pay attention to red flags. This is synchronicities, synchronicities, however you want to say it. Okay, um, you're not seeing something, and then underneath that, we have a hot to hot <clears throat> Aqua. Healing, healing family issues, and it's safe for you to love. It's you know, we got make the effort. Aqua Venus, please, Aqua Venus. Express your love. Express your love. Hey, Cade. Romantic feelings and reconciliation. You guys have an awesome Venus right now. Ah, uh, Cade. What? Come see Mama. Cade. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Kaden, come here, please, 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 come see your mama. Whoa. Can you point the fan my way? I know, I know. Do you have ten dollars? No, you can't have ten dollars. Don't knock it off. Oh, five and three. No, so when you when you walk out, put, can you put it on at least two because I'm hot. At least two. Put the fan on two. Can I have $5? No! Please? No! no. Kid, no. why you keep asking for money? Why? Stop. I don't have a job. You don't have a job. Well, I can find you a job. Yes, please. Okay. I'll work on that. I need to get paid. You need to get paid? Around $12. $12 an hour? Yeah. All right, I got you. So the grocery store? The grocery store? I don't even know if they pay $12 an hour. <laughs> All I right. am. I love you. So I'm doing a video. So Please. anywho, no. No, I'm not doing this with you. No. 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 So we have pay attention to red flags, have to have conversation. We have healing family issues and it's safe for you to love. Okay. Bye. Um we have make an effort and express your love. Oh, Mama, okay. Yes, okay. Kate, I'm all done. No, I all like, right. I we like have Give your relationship a chance in romantic feelings, mom, okay? Look at my mom's accent. Mom, say yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh, go away. I am going Knock it off. At the bottom of the deck. We have reconciliation. Um, sorry. It, it, the next few videos are going to be nuts. What are you going to do? Can I walk down to Ava's now? You're going to go to Ava's? <laughs> Girlfriend. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. <laughs> I'm saving half my stuff because I'm going to get my in the fridge. Anywho. I have to go to the bathroom and get ready before I go. You got to get ready? I'm going to go to the bathroom and fly in the bathroom. Oh, good, because the fly's been in the house for like three days. I know. Okay. I have to go to the bathroom and get my charger and I'll, let, I'll tell you when I'm going to Okay. I'd redo this video, but I've already done this once. And this is what I get for doing that spirits I caught. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not redoing it. I'm not starting over. Alright. So anywho. This is you're not paying attention to synchronosis. You're not paying attention to what's going on, okay? This is a heavy Venus, okay, because you're healing at the same time. And you you know, it's it's safe for you to love the universe is saying it's safe, okay? You feel like it's not safe and they're, they're stressing. Like, go go make the effort. Express your love, okay? Like, give it a chance. You have feelings. So, put some more effort into it type thing, okay? Um, hi, Papa. So, you know, and then in reconciliation, okay? So... 
I say it's beautiful, okay, but I, I f it's heavy because you're trying to heal other issues besides your love life. And apparently something else is at utmost importance here, okay? But the universe is saying in order to find balance in your life, you need to put the effort in to have everything you you want like you, you're, you're waiting on something because you're taking care of something else and what they're saying is you have to balance this out like you can't stop procrastinating uh, or you can't put one more energy into one and not the other like this is a lesson too in itself of balancing out um your emotions okay um they're they're stressing Make the effort, express your love, give your relationship a chance. You, you got the feelings. Have this hat to hat conversation. It's safe. You know, it's like you want the reconciliation. It's coming, okay? But how 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 is this reconciliation going to take place if you're not putting effort into it? And I, and I know you're not because it's right here, clear as day. You're not you're not expressing what needs to be expressed. Oh, what is this song? This is um. <laughs> Little Susie, take me in your arms. I was just relating that to something. You relate that how you want to. But, um, you know, you want to have this conversation with somebody, but I just kind of feel like with whatever it is that's going on in your family life, it, it's coming first. But spirit's really saying you need to push through that and the reason why you're procrastinating is because you're clinging on to the past somehow okay you don't feel like it's safe but you're not even putting effort in so how would you know so you're not even giving anything the benefit of the doubt you're just like effort okay so if that's how you want to feel about your love life then you know that's on you but other things will come crashing down if you don't address this i know for a fact all right stop nibbling in my ear what are you doing? Oh, alright. Um, I will when Lani gets home. Okay. Sure. Will you just text me when you get... This is the other thing. And I just put them in there. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I know I noticed that when I opened the box. He's being super gentle, but he, he's nibbling. He just gave me the chills. Okay. So, if you want to make this happen, you can. You're holding back on yourself, okay? So, let's find out what's going on with um, the new moon energy for my for my awful babies. And you're about to have somebody either whisper sweet nothings in your ear, or you need to go whisper sweet nothings in someone's ear, okay? Um, we have the seven of pence. So, you're looking at what it is you've invested your time into, or what you're investing your time into, I should say. Um, with the King of Wands and the Ace of Swords, so you're about to take action, but with this lion here, you're apprehensive, okay, you're about with the Four of Cups reversed to you, it, it's almost like you need to speak the truth in whatever it is you want to offer. It looks like there's another offer coming back around, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but with you looking at your investments, bless you, with the Seven of Pence being right here with the King of Wands, I, I understand it can represent a, a Leo too, but at the same time, the, the king's eyes is shut, okay, and it, it, it takes courage to step forward, and I know courage is required here because of the other cards, okay, um, but you have this ability, the, 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 the energy you're given right now is for you to go make an offer, okay, to, to start communication with somebody, and they're literally giving you the energy of, of the king of wands for you to step into this, okay, um, so this either has to do with a past person or it has to do with your past in general and, and what it is you put effort into, what it is you haven't put effort into. You're, you're worried, I think, that if you step into something, your guard has to be up, okay? Um, I don't know your past scenario, so I don't know for sure if that's what it's speaking on, but that's how I am taking it. Um, what else for the new moon? All right, you have the Queen of Pentacles, so, and it's right under Express Your Love, so to me, this is either, 
I think this is the other person in the King of Wands, whether it's the King of the Queen, okay, is the one. That's the energy they're giving you. And I think you're worried because somebody's not putting energy into, into something right now. And I think this person is no longer putting the effort in. They're no longer telling you how they feel. They're just, to me, they're probably no longer putting the effort in anything, okay? Um, I think you're a little, you might be a little apprehensive when it comes to that. Tell me about this Queen of Pence. All right, so the Queen of Swords reverse. I, I mean, the Queen, yeah, the Queen, the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Page of Wands. So, to me, this particular Queen. So we're talking about feminine energy here, okay? Because this is masculine. So, but these roles can obviously reverse. But it looks like you're worried about someone being faithful to you too, okay? So this has to do with your past. This woman cut you out and is not taking action <clears throat> um, <clears throat> with the Nine of Swords. I mean, this is the woman, so she's worried. I don't know why she's worried. She's not putting action into it, so why is she worried? And I don't even understand why it's telling me this because... This is new moon energy. This is supposed to be what's supposed to put pep in your step, not tell me another story. All right, sweetie. Okay. This is bizarre. Sorry. I can't even read it like I normally read it. So it, it speaks of this woman that's not putting effort in. She cut out she cut out the anxiety in her life. She she's not taking action. I think she's waiting on you to take action. Um I I think that's what it's trying to tell me. I guess we'll find out more when I use the other cards because I don't want to stay stuck on this because this this is supposed to be energy that's supposed to pull you through. That this is supposed to be you know, because they're giving you the King of Wands energy. So, to go and offer, to go express, to go make the effort, to, to go give something a chance, you know. And, it, like I said, it's talking about your past. I think you're worried that someone's not faithful or someone's not going to be faithful. But that has to do with your past, whether it's this person or somebody else, that it's just your past, okay. Um, so, I think you're worried that... Either you cut this person out or they cut you out. You guys obviously are not together. You need to talk clear as day. Um, what else for new moon energy? So I think you're worried that, you know, you have justice. I, I think you're worried that this can't be justified. Um, there must have been a lot of injustice here. But this is this is the energy now to take advantage of this with the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, you, you're carrying these thoughts. Okay. Let me know when you're down there, please. These thoughts are, are weighing you down right now. Okay. These thoughts are weighing you down right now. Okay. Um, I don't know what you're going to do. This is the energy to express, to talk, make the effort. Give it a chance. Fix what needs to be fixed. Have this hat to hat conversation. Stop worrying about the past. Okay. I, I know easier said than done, but it, it's possible. It's a thing, you know? So you're dreaming about this person. You want this reconciliation. Okay. Um, so the advice I could give you, yeah, see there's the fool with the sun at the bottom of the deck. Like this can obviously grow. Okay. With the Ten of Cups, this person makes you happy. I, I think for you, stepping into the unknown and speaking with the King of Wands and just moving forward, what beautiful cards. Um, it is, is what my Aquarians need to do right now. So the best I, advice I can give you for your moon energy would be to push forward. All right, they are giving you this energy to go have this conversation, <laughs> to make an offer to somebody, okay, that you you, you truly care about. I mean, you more than care about this person. You have one, two, three, four. Listen to me. You got five cards of the universe telling you to go express how you feel. So go open up. This is the energy for it. Okay. So 
it's on you what direction you're going to go, but that that is what your read is right now. It's a beautiful Venus read, too. You're just apprehensive, okay? I, I know you have some family stuff going on right now, too. It's clear as day on my board, but this, what this is saying is you need to start balancing all, all aspects of your life, okay? All aspects of your life, because if you're just going to put too much focus on one more than the other, you're going to set yourself up to repeat the cycle again, okay? So, and with the new moon energy, this is, this they're giving you energy. This is action-oriented energy, okay? So, let's hope you step forward and take action, okay? So, do the raw love, peace. My awkward body, babies. Mm -hmm. My love. Why are you so warm? You got a fever? What is going on with you right now? You are way too warm, Papa. You know, you got judgment. Yeah, you got to make a judgment call here with the moon, whether or not you're going to step forward or not. This is judgment call on, on you. A judgment talks about reconciliation, but this is judgment call on you. Okay, you had the moon twice, two now, too. So it, you have to make this call. If you don't, then don't. But here's the deal. This has been on your mind for a long time. I've been reading Aquas for a long time. You're yeah, like, it's easy to tell me you love me. It's easy for you to tell me you're thinking of me, yada, yada. But you're not believing this person. You've heard it all before. Here we go. Here we go with that energy. Yeah, and this person's not putting energy into it anymore, so... I don't know what you're going to do. The universe is really pushing you to go towards the unknown. I don't, so I I hope you go towards the unknown. So we have the Ten of Swords and with the Lovers. This is a bond you have with somebody. This is not two different people right this second. This is a bond. If you have two people, you obviously got to make a decision. But this is not what this is. I, nope, this is not what this is with all this. Make an epic, express your love, romantic feelings. If you're sleeping with somebody, you got somebody else on your mind. That's for damn sure. There's no competition here with these cards, okay? It's stepping into the unknown. Um, either you think you stabbed. It's hard for you to have this conversation because either this person stabbed you in the back or you stabbed this person in the back. Okay, um, so I don't know if there was another person at the time. I, I don't know your scenario, but I will tell you with the Ten of Swords, you're coming to the end of that. The Swords are down. But like I said, I think you're still worried about if somebody's going to be faithful to you or not, because even though it's over, you still got the people in the background. You know what I mean? But you're still attracted to this person, clearly, regardless. Tell me about the lovers. The lovers, the lovers, the lovers. You got the nine of wands. It's it's. There's nobody else. This is this is somebody you know. This is instead of putting your guard up, have this type of conversation. Okay, let your guard down. Show compassion. Talk about what needs to be talked about. So there's not another person. <clears throat> the ace of pence you know are you willing to put the time in this is my unprotected um, card too okay because of you know the energy that's surrounding this couple up here okay um you know here's here's that here's that new stop but are you going to take it, okay? Are you going to go towards it? Because your first cut out is judgment going right towards the moon, okay? You're apprehensive about the past is legitimately holding you back. Some kind of fear. And holding you back from your two of chalices. Holding you back from your new stat. What a beautiful connection you have with somebody. And I had already saw that, okay? Because these cards alone... There's some deep feelings here that have not been expressed. So, to me, this moon is just you going to, you know, not wanting to go 
towards the unknown, all right, with the three of chalices, yeah, not, not going towards, not going towards your happy, okay, because, oh, I didn't even notice that right underneath, you're not going, you're not going towards your happy, that talks about reconciliation too, because right underneath is the seven of swords, there had there been some type of deception, there was something, somebody was sleeping with somebody, or this person, or the two of you were sleeping with somebody, it's something, okay, you're worried about the aftermath, Stop worrying about the aftermath when it comes to the unknown. Ha you don't know the outcome. You're just assuming what what's going to happen, what, how, how things are going to go down. All right? You're doing it to yourself. You're self-sabotaging this. And it's not the first time my awkward have self-sabotaged a situation. Um, so I really hope you can get yourself out of this energy and step in and have this conversation that clearly you are being stressed to go have right now. You don't feel like it's safe. You, you feel like this person's going to stab you in the back because it's happened to you before. So instead of going towards it, you, you cut it out of your life before it can stop. But this stayed, okay? And, and it stayed to the point where now it's effing with your brain. That's lesson for my aquas, my aqua babies. Lesson for my aquas. Acceptance and learning that you cannot accept change. Uh, I am learning to accept things I cannot change. So you can't, you can't change your past that you're holding on to. You just can't. You have to accept what this is. And, you know, we have death. We have this transformation that I'm learning that endings are nearly new beginnings. Okay. And going through this transition and it's accepting what what this is and owning up to what it is you need to own up to and and going towards the unknown okay this is literally what's stopping you so i i you know i wish you the very best when it comes to this i know you and my pisces and there's another sign i think right now you know been going through this for a very long time was it my tour so my cancers one of those. Um, so, no, I think it's my Taurus. As soon as you can accept this, whatever this is, you're going to feel so much better. Okay? But it's on you. That's the advice of my awkward Wishing. And what's at the bottom of the deck? A message. All right. So either you're going to hear a message or deliver a message, but let's see what this wishing is. When you wish upon a star. So, choosing this symbol means that you're in a wonderful junction in time in your life where imagination and preparation will align the web of the power. I, I told you, okay, it, it, it's, it's aligning. So maybe it just took this long for something to align. I don't know. But this is like, this top row, it, I feel pressure. <laughs> you have to be feeling pressure. All right, it says, my dear one, I've heard your prayers and I know you. I know your heart and I know what's for your highest good. Dreams do come true. Make sure that your dreams serve your highest purpose and does not take away from another. Be careful for what you wish for. Remember, every coin tossed in the wishing well, every wish has a price to be paid. You are ready to spend your time and your energy that is granted, that is granted with the wish but it now is going to require you to put work in it. Now is the time that your wish will be fulfilled. So it's here. But are you gonna go? Are you gonna go after it? Okay. Um. I, I hope so. I hope you go after it. And I talked about dreams. And I talked about that. It's it's accepting where you're at. It's balancing. It's balancing this out. Okay. It, it's having this you know beautiful new start with with the two of cups with somebody you know, you love, this is a very mutual connection, okay, but it, it's going towards the unknown is scary to you because you don't know the outcome, and you're just assuming it's going to end up in a rough aftermath, okay, so to me, this is the universe is saying, listen, like, this is you, you need to make your own judgment call right now, like, stop letting stuff stop you, and they're legitimately giving you this energy to go in and speak to this person, 
they're giving it to you. They're, this is an opportunity from, from the universe. Are you going to take it? I, I don't know because you're so worried about what this person, male or female energy, is going to do, say, react. And you know what I'm saying? But I can't even tell you. I can't stress to you enough. Look, I mean, look at these cards that the universe is telling you to do. Okay, like this is this is a gift, and I don't I don't think you're looking at it like it's one. Okay, why? Because somebody from the past hurt you. Okay, and you're dealing with something that has nothing to do with this love, which is love by love in a different way. Okay, something going on with the family. But here's the deal. You're ignoring all the synchronicities. You're ignoring everything. Why? Because you don't feel like it's safe. Because you, you're you so damn worried. Look at all these damn cards that the universe just gave you. To go and talk to this person. Every every damn card in the deck that says go and talk. Every single one. You got them all. Okay. So they're giving you a gift. And you can either accept it. Or... You can repeat the wheel. I wish you the best of luck. Bye, guys. I love you. Sorry for the chaos. What are you going to do? That's that. What are you going to do? Bye, guys.